100% of the world's tequila is produced in Mexico. You heard me, every little bit. But not all tequilas are created equally. In honor of National Tequila Day on July 24th, we're going to Casadora's Distillery in Mexico to see what does Mozart have to do with their process? Mm-hmm, you heard me, Mozart. And we'll also learn more about how they make their tequila. Every step of our process has elements that are unique to our brand, starting with how we harvest the agave. There are some producers that prefer to use non-mature agave plants because they can be a little more affordable. At Casadores, we always like to wait for the full maturity of the plant so that it has the right amount of sugars so that it doesn't change the flavor profile we're looking for. What is special about our extraction process with this diffuser that we have is the way we can extract all the sugars from the agave plant with less waste. In other uh, milling processes, you can waste 30, even 40% of the agave juice and sugars, while here in the diffuser, we extract 98% of the sugars at least. There are some scientific studies about the effect of classical music and sound on liquids, on living organisms. They tend to prove that there are positive effects of classical music. We do it because it's a part of our tradition, part of our recipe. We use a white American oak barrel, new ones, different barrels give you different products sometimes, but you have to you have to blend them. The perfection is to assure that the profile never is going to change. Ready for Mexican toast? Yes! Okay. One, two, three. Arriba, Arriba abajo, abajo, al centro y pa' adentro. Okay, this is mine. You guys can yeah. go. <laughs> Greatness takes time, people, and Tequila Casadores has got the right formula. And low key, I'm about to add Mozart to my playlist. Y'all gonna see me like bopping around, like, what's X listening to? Ah, uh, Mozart, baby.